Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're doing something unique and we're kitting out my home studio space. The problem I have with this space is that there's a lot of echo and I'm actually recording music for a lot of different purposes now rather than just videos for YouTube. I do voiceover on the side as, as a bit of a day job, but I also record my own music for my own album, some flute pieces for other collaborations and other singles uh, on other people's albums as well. So I needed to up my music game a little bit and get a recording space that actually made my recordings sound professional. Now to do that, you need to block off a little bit of the echo that you can hear within this room while I'm talking. And I was looking into um, foam panels and padding to go on the walls and the doors and things. And then I had an email from a company called ArrowZoom. It came just at the right time. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. And ArrowZoom do this sort of thing. On their website, they had these amazing hexagon foam acoustic panels. Now these panels are, uh, they come in a variety of colours and sizes which I think is really amazing. You can really tailor these to the space that you have on your wall. They are self-adhesive at the back so you pull off this uh, back section and they stick straight onto your wall and they're quite thick. They're uh, almost a centimetre thick so they're this uh, sound absorbing foam felt combination and they are incredible. Now, Arizoom were kind enough to actually send me a pack of the white and a pack of the blue um, so that I can make some sort of design on the wall here. And I love them so much, I went ahead and ordered the gray as well. So I have three colors to work with. So today we are going to be attaching these to my back wall. We'll hear the difference it makes in sound and see how amazing they look. As you can see, the setup is simply one wall within my house. Um, but I do have these cabinets on either side and on the left you can see I have a selection of instruments that I've collected that I use sometimes but mostly because I just love them and as we go further down I've got all my whistles stored in this bottom cupboard. The whistles I use most often on the top and the whistles I use less often on the bottom. On the other side you'll see my recording equipment. I have um, microphones and my audio interface here, my trusty Lear whistles which are my go-to at the moment. In the bottom cupboard of this cabinet I also have a selection of costume items which I use from time to time. I have a theatre background so yeah, I love to cosplay. There are also one or two items that don't fit anywhere. That's the music stand, the baron, a few longer whistles and my rain stick. So they kind of sit here along with my lights. But these are a must if you are a musician, if you're a singer, a gamer, uh, if you're an artist of any sort and you make a little bit of noise or you want to get the most from your recordings, then these will make the world of difference. They have such a huge selection on their website. As I said, they do these in a selection of different colors. And what I loved about these was they actually look aesthetic as well. It's not just that you're kitting out your space to look like a studio, but they look cool. So it, this is a wall in my house. I don't really want it to look like a recording studio as such. And I'm hoping that these will, will just give it a, the, the dampening and the sound protection that it needs without it just looking kind of too much like a business. Now, if you decide that these aren't your thing, I do recommend that you check out the ArrowZoom website. I have put a link in the description down below um, because they do have a whole collection of different foam panels, different sizes to suit your space that you're filling up. So they've got much thicker foam and things as well. So whatever you're going for, they have a really amazing range of stuff that you can choose from. And they've also given me a discount code for you guys to use, which is az Qt. Um, I've put that in the description down below as well. I don't get anything from this. It is just a discount code for you guys to use and you'll get 10% off anything that you order from the ArrowZoom website with that code. So let's get started. <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to do for these was to clear the space that I was going to be working on. I've also moved a lot of stuff in this room so that I can um, kind of lay out a few of these tiles in some sort of pattern to see what I wanted to go for. Um, so yeah, I played around a little bit with a few different styles because obviously once you peel the backing off these it's harder to move them around. Um, they did actually also supply some additional adhesive so if for some reason you wanted to use uh, a different layout or if you wanted to remove some of these from the wall and restick them um, there's additional adhesive here for you to do that and then it was just a case of peeling sticking and hoping for the best
What I really liked throughout this process was you could actually start hearing the difference in sound as you start adding these panels. But yeah, you really start feeling and hearing the difference in the sound as you're adding these panels. Now I am so glad I actually remembered to do this before adding the panels to the wall, but this folks is how the sound is bouncing around this room, how the echo effect is present in this room, in this space before I added the acoustic panels. And this is the sound after. It is pretty impressive, I think. Um, yeah, you can definitely hear there's less echo, less reverb in this room, which I really like. Um, obviously as well, I'm sort of facing away from this incredible wall. So uh, when I record facing this back wall, that'll, that'll stop the sound from bouncing around even more, which will sound absolutely amazing. So I hope you folks can hear the difference between these incredible acoustic foam panels with and without. Um, I really hope that this is going to make a difference to a lot of my recording. Um, you'll see whether it has in the forthcoming videos, whether everything sounds crisper and clearer. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed putting these up. Thank you so much to ArrowZoom for sending these and for the ones that I purchased as well. I'm really pleased with them. Don't forget, as I said earlier, folks, you can get 10% discount on any of the ArrowZoom products on their website in the description down below um, with the code AZ-QT if you want to get 10% off your own acoustic foam panels, whether that's hexagons or whether that's something more traditional. Um, do check them out, I can definitely recommend them. If you have any other suggestions on how I could improve my studio space, do let me know in the comments down below this video. Also, if you've kitted out your own home studio, let me know what you've done to make things sound a little more professional and look even more amazing. I mean, I love the way this looks. I'm not gonna use it for every single video, but I hope you folks enjoy this as a background feature. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> that is it from me this week. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to find out more information about the product, check the description down below. Of course, if you'd like to support my channel and my music and this as my career, you can also do so on Coffee and Patreon right up here. Don't forget if you haven't to like this video and subscribe to my channel, which really, really helps me out here on YouTube. But otherwise, I'll see you folks next week for some amazing Tin Whistle tunes and obviously a St. Patrick's Day special. Happy whistling. I'll see you soon. Bye.